I'm gonna show you four different 3D printed functional tools and one test dog, all done on the Lotmax, Lotmax, Lotmax? On the Lotmax, 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 Lotmax. Whatever this word is, SC10. My name's Jim and this is the Edge of Tech. What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to take a look at the Lotmax, or Lotmax, SC10. However you say it, it's a pretty cool little printer. But most of all, I'm gonna show you four different 3D printed tools that are very functional and that can be done on this printer right out of the box. And also, don't forget about the test dog. So the test dog was done on the 235 by 235 by 280 bed of the SC10. Actually, the sticker on the bed says 250 by 250 by 280. So that's the number I'm actually gonna stick with for the rest of the video. 250 by 250 by 280. And the test dog was on the SD card, so I popped the SD card in and I hit print right after I leveled it, and this is what came out. It's a really good print. It came out super good with the test white filament that came in the box. It's shiny, the layers are hard to see, which is awesome. And in general, it just came out very good. When it was printing, it was actually super quiet because this printer is really a quiet printer. I think the fans are the loudest thing on it and they're really not that bad. If you actually compare them to that JG Maker Artist D that I did, this thing is silent compared to that. That thing sounds like a jet engine. But it turned out awesome, it looks great, and for a test print on a brand new printer, this is exactly what I wanna see. So let's get on to the tools. The first tool, we'll call it number one, is this adjustable wrench. I printed this off in the test white filament that came in the box using a Prusa Slicer profile that I created and I'm tweaking as I go. In the description below, you'll find a link for everything I printed today, along with that profile if you wanna check out Prusa Slicer for the SC10. But the first tool, like I said, number one, we're gonna call it the adjustable wrench. I printed this out, I pulled off the support material that came on that was built into the model, which was really cool, and this thing works right off the bed. It actually opens and it closes, and as you can see, the layers are great, it, the print came out really good for my first test on that Prusa Slicer profile, and it actually opens and closes with no problem. And this is the first functional print in this video because you can actually use this on nuts and bolts. It is super cool, you can print it off, it didn't take that long, and I suggest everybody dives in and tests this on their printers. Tool number two on my list was a set of these Allen wrench T-handles. These take the set of Allen wrenches that come with the machine and make them so you can actually use them with T-handles just like this. As you can see, there's different sizes and if you print all five, you can actually do T-handles on all of the Allen wrenches that came in this set. All I did was I jumped on the built-in three and a half inch touchscreen. I went over to print, I found my file, I hit print, and confirmed, and these things came straight off the bed. Now I did print this batch, the handles and the little screw in part, all at the same time. It was a really cool print, it came out great, and I suggest that everybody gets a set of these because it really makes your Allen wrenches much more easy to use. So all you do is you take your Allen wrench, you find the little threaded part that is actually the size of your Allen wrench, so it'll go on like this. You'll actually take your Allen wrench, you put it inside of the handle, and then you just use this to thread it down and tighten it in. Once it's tightened in, you have yourself a T-handle on your Allen wrench and you're good to go to work on your printers. It's actually really strong and you can make it as strong as you want with the amount of walls and infill you use. But this is a must have for the 3D printing enthusiast, especially because it's our number two functional tool. The third functional tool that I printed on this Whisper Quiet Lotmax, Lotmax? Lotmax, I think we went over this, SC10, are these filament clips right here. They actually print on the side, I printed six of them at one go and it only took about an hour. It clips onto the side of your filament spool and then your filament will clip right into it holding the filament in place. And you can actually put it anywhere on that spool. You don't have to find the holes and, and have extra or not enough filament and go back to the extra hole. But it's really cool, like I said, they just clip onto the spool like that and then your filament clips right into them. And the functionality of these little clips on your spools is what makes this my number three functional print of this video. Now my fourth and final functional print on this video 
is a super cool one. I found this on Thingiverse just like the rest of these. Again, links are in the description below. But this might be one of the most functional prints that I've printed to date. This right here is actually a square edge holder. So what you would do is you would take two pieces of wood. In my case, I only have two hands, so I can't uh, show you that. But I have this black tile. You would place this. You would place your two pieces of wood like a frame, just like that. And then you would clamp it down. And when you clamp this down, this gives you a perfect 90 degree angle. So your frames can actually be perfectly straight and you can measure them to make sure they're dialed in and aligned. Uh, the cool thing about this is, is it comes in three different sizes. So you can use this one, which is the smallest one, all the way up to a really good size one. So if you wanna use two by fours or two by sixes, that kind of thing. And as you can see here, I actually printed the size that's too small for two two by fours, but you get the idea, the wood goes together and this holds it in a nice square manner. This could come in handy when building desks or picture frames or anything you wanna build that you need square edges. I really like this print. This is super functional and one of my favorites on this list. And that makes this my number four functional print on this video. I'd just like to thank the company for uh, sending this printer out to me. In full disclosure, they did send this for a review. Uh, I don't do a ton of review videos, so I thought I would do a series of videos on really cool things to print on brand new printers that are in my shop. There's just a couple more things to talk about on this printer before I go. There is an optional Wi-Fi module. It does not come with it, but that could be really cool if you wanted to hook up and actually run this directly from Wi-Fi. Uh, again, it has a three and a half inch touchscreen, the 250 by 250 by 280 bed, which is a little bit bigger than the Ender 3 series, but certainly a great bed size. It does have a uh, removable flexible bed, so you can pop it off and pop your prints off. Again, it's very quiet printer. I did a bunch of testing on this printer and I came down to just filming the four tools that I showed and the dog. Don't forget about the dog. The dog came out really good. And all of that was actually printed on the sample spool that is still on here. If you want to check out the SC10, there's a link in the description below. Again, a very nice printer. It prints really well. It does have a filament runout sensor as well, uh, which is a nice feature. But I really do like this machine. It's actually served me pretty well for all the testing I've done with it. And I think it would be a really good first printer if someone out there is looking to spend a little more money than an Ender series, but want a little different features like the touch screen and the filament runout sensor, etc. I hope you guys got some really good ideas for some really cool tools that you can print every day using a 3D printer. Remember, your imagination is everything. You can print anything you want from hammers to Allen wrench holders to wrenches. Just jump on any of the sites, Thingiverse, My Mini Factory, Gambody, any of those, look up the model you want and you can be printing in no time. Well, I hope you learned something today and as always, keep printing. Well, I hope you liked the video today with the four 3D printable tools that are actually functional. If you did, give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button right here, and click the little bell if you want to get notified anytime we go live on Monday for Hot Makes or anytime I put a new video out. Did you see this one? That's a good one. We'll see you in the next one.